2.55 in ZC lets you open up old quests with a password that is unanimous across them all. I could probably just say it since it's it seems to be somewhat common knowledge, but I won't just in case it for whatever reason it isn't. But it lets you just kind of open up older quests. And the more that I started digging in this quest, I mean, it's kind of there's two sides to it. There's the side of like my own self challenge of finding stuff. But the thing is, like when I get near the end of a quest, I sometimes and I, you guys know this. I've spent hours upon hours just running around, wasting time, getting like one or two things. Promised Lands was one that really comes to mind that I did that for. Um but I no longer have that time or really desire to do that anymore. And I feel like, you know, being, a, 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 I guess, an, a 100% Let's Player, I enjoyed the time I spent manually doing that. Because in the past, the most I'd ever do is sometimes refer to another Let's Play, which in some cases, like, Fun in the Sun 1, I couldn't even do that because I could not find another playthrough where they got the red ring. Um, I actually had to, like deduce based on in in quest hints and a couple of questions to dark mat directly to figure that out but you know like i guess like times are changing so i think I, again i'm not gonna say that this is like a standard now of a thing i'm gonna do but in some cases i might just for the sake of you guys watching who are playing and also are 100 percenters but also are kind of like me where it's like i want to get everything but i don't want to spend my life finding everything i might make this kind of a thing I do where I throw it in the ZQ and just take a quick peek once once I've already I, 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 it ruins the fun for me if I do that before I get to the state where I'm like okay I'm near the very end like I might even I might even look at the cave of ordeals just to see what am I fighting for because I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours dying and failing in that for a 9999 wallet you know something just completely pointless then I, I at least can tell you guys what's there so if you want to go get it go for it but i am not going to spend the time doing it now i can understand that the quest creators like dark map may not like this but i mean I, well i don't know i guess just let me know what you all think about it because i still would like to know what i'm missing out on in a game like that part of my brain that likes 100 percenting would still like to know but and i just don't have the time you know maybe five years ago i would have done this i mean uh, fun in the sun one was like two or three years ago and i yeah it's just you know things are getting too nuts and i mean if you, the thing is if you don't want to be spoiled you know like the crest creators could say well you're spoiling where all the stuff is you're supposed to find the stuff on your own well the thing is regardless of me using ZQ or actually finding it manually, I'm still showing the world where stuff is, so I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm trying to justify something no one cares about. Like, okay, fine, just do it. No one really cares. But, you know, if there is a quest creator that cares, let me know. If there's any of you, you guys watching that cares, let me know. But for me personally, this is something I kind of want to do. But I, I'll take your thoughts in the comments. Oh, just for the record, much like Fun in the Sun 1, the Red Ring is in level in this fake level 9. And you guys know how I feel about that, so there's no way I was going to find it. So I think if I whistle here... Alright, well... Again, again, never would have found that. Yeah. So that is Din's Fire, I believe. I'm confused. Oh, and of course, one thing I will address. I'm obviously not gonna, like I said, it's only when like trying to scan this kind of stuff that I don't have the time to. Level nine, I'm still gonna go and do that the classic way. I'm not gonna cheat myself out of that kind of stuff. I am an idiot. That room with all the spikes. I wonder how you're supposed to get through that. How many times have I forgotten I've had the feather in so many quests? So I was actually told the cane that I said I needed to get through here is in here. So I felt so smart like, oh, you know what? It's going to be like Link to the Past. Of course, it sucks that you can't jump on the edge of the screen. Wow, okay. Does, does th that mechanic even work in this quest? No. Ah, nope, okay. I was actually gonna say, I don't think I've ever seen a cane of Burna 
in ZC that behave like the one in Link to the Past. I don't know if that was Burn or Samaria. I don't know the difference. I'm just jumping everywhere so I don't forget. This one's actually kind of odd. Well, I wouldn't say it's obvious, but I should have known this. I think it's right here. Except I can't be facing down when I do it because I just screen stuff. Yeah. That one is findable. That one's pretty easily. Do you literally have a- No, that enemy just happened to spawn there. Oh, that's fantastic. And now, even with me looking at this, I still don't know what's what, necessarily. Yeah, you can walk on this. Oh. That was just bad. This is another one that I would not have really guessed. This rock is a giant bomb rock. And I did look at what the rewards of the uh, thing are. So it, it's actually quite interesting. Um, I'll tell you about where you got this key. Is that the magic key? No, it's just a key. Hmm. So it's just a free key. Basically, to not spoil anything, I will say it right now, but you can skip ahead if you don't want to hear me say it. I'll probably edit something so that you don't need to worry about being spoiled. Uh, so you saw me get up to the, the wallet, and then I died one screen away from the next reward, which was a magic ring, a green magic ring. So probably it's not, it doesn't even... Unless it, he they changed the stuff, it's... Uh, it's not a great magic ring, but it's a magic ring. And then you get another key. Oddly enough, the same key I got here. So I wonder if it's just a free key. Um, but then the next reward is a wealth medal. Not really super useful because you get a lot. And honestly, money in this quest is fine. So a wealth medal is just kind of meh. Um, I also don't guzzle potions. So uh, And then you get rupees. Man, that would have kind of hurt. And then, this is very interesting. You get a Stone of Agony, which, to be honest, I didn't even know what that was. I had to look in ZQ to learn what that is. Basically, Link's sprite apparently vibrates subtly when you get near a secret. So, it's like... It's like a, it's like the worst kind of lens of truth, sort of, because you need to actually walk near everything, which, of course, that doesn't help you with screens or the secrets on the other side of the screen. I don't know. That's that's interesting, though. I don't think I've ever seen a quest with that. At least, if I did, I didn't know it was doing anything. Uh, and then you get a heart ring, and that's it. But seeing those rewards don't really encourage me. I mean, the magic ring and the heart ring is nice. But to be honest, I'm kind of getting to the point. I, I got the heart pieces. Um, I'm still missing the one... Th oh, no, I actually got the cane. Um, I actually know where the cross is. I was... And this I actually kind of was, was close, you know? I, I kind of assumed this. It's in level one. And I don't remember what the hint was. I still have the picture on my phone. The mushroom top has a holy relic. I didn't even understand this. In, at, at, uh, I knew where the, the thing is because I was told it. But now it makes sense. And I was, this is a different hint. The mushroom top has the holy relic. Holy relic, that's the cross. And I knew that it was the cross and not the amulet. That, that's a... Bit, kind of a big difference actually not really um i didn't realize that this was a mushroom perhaps if i had done this quest without such large gaps in between i would remember that the shape of this dungeon was a mushroom although i mean in a forest that kind of looks like a tree to me but i i, I could have seen that as a mushroom the amulet's in here the cross is in here i mean huh, okay well 100 percent. oh my god no I was going to say 100% something you can get on your own. Um. Well, actually, this doesn't change my opinion. Yeah, you could have gotten this on your own. But you would have probably died many times trying to get it. Because you'd likely have the blue or the green tunic coming in here. Yep. All right. That is 100% something I could have just found. And anyone can just find. You know, part of me would almost want to make it to where you could save in quests. In dungeons, in dungeons, because not being able to do that is pain. I mean, looking at everything, I really did get just about everything. Just those few things that, you know, I never would have found. So, all things considered, I feel like I did pretty well. There is only one more thing, 
and that is the red ring, which, like I said, is in level nine, fake level nine, which again, isn't surprising. Like those of us that have gone through, that went through um, Fun in the Sun one kind of knew this. Um, and of course I'm gonna look at where that is because I am not, I have no interest in seeking it out. From what I've heard, it's similar to Fun in the Sun 1, where it's you need to play the whistle in a certain room. Because that's what it was in Fun in the Sun room. You had to play the whistle in the room with the enemy that appeared the least in level 9. Um, and I could re-look at all my hints and try to discern, you know, where it could be. Oh, wow. So, if I'm understanding this correctly. So, I know what room it's in. If I'm understanding this correctly, that key I got, it's either that key or the one I got from the trial gets me in here because it's it's a it's a there's a locked door in front of it which again that was the same in fun in the sun one you had to find the key however that was a key within that fake level nine that got you that here it looks like there was a step up now i know where in here the room that it's in oh god how do i get to that room is a uh, separate question that I'm going to find out right now. Oh wait, no, I have two keys. Oh, so I did, I did have an extra key in here. It's for the red ring. Okay, well now I have no idea where that other key goes. I think that's a room I hate, which doesn't really explain anything. It's a, it's a trap room that I got taken to many, a great many times. I'm looking at a duplicate of the quest. So I'm, I'm never gonna edit these quests. That's one thing I will point out. I'm never gonna actually change anything. Technically I can, I very much can. I could just remove all the side warps, but no, I, I wouldn't do that. That's that's ridiculous. I'm literally using it as like the ultimate lens of truth, basically. Okay. So what is it about this room that is so unique? It actually infuriates me now. I've been in this room so many times. This is the room, isn't it? I believe it is. I think it paused like that because it's a pallet swap. I don't have my sword. I am going to need to find out what led you here. You know, I wonder if, I, if that other key I have is usable here too. Huh. Yeah, I'm really curious. Oh, nice. I like the symbol. That's a uh, white mage, Final Fantasy one Ness. Yeah, I'm gonna look at my hints because the hints in the that were given. How would the, how would I have gotten to that? I am the Woodmaster. Buy wood from the Woodmaster. Who said that? Was that the Rafter Ladder Shop? Slash near the twenty third potion. What? Go east through the forest and up to the mushroom. I think that's just a hint for level one. A light removes the red tree leading to a dungeon. I got that. Head north and cross the mountain river to east to reach the dungeon. I found that. Capitalism. Ho. Oh. What? The mushroom top has a holy relic. Yep, that's the hint that level one has the cross. St. Giga secret. Look for spirits hidden in the beneath. A gem of magic will give you power. Yeah, that's that, um, supposedly Din's fire. Tune at the pond will reveal the secret. I don't remember if I got that hint. Oh, no, I think I did get that hint. That might actually be referring specifically to level nine, fake level nine. Oh my god, there's three ways to get hearts from the rock. Okay, so there was a hint about those three heart pieces on one screen. Man, that is still very vague, though. I don't know. I, I, I'm not... I, that's not too bad, I guess. Cross the water and go into the tree. Arrow up the double fall where three rocks meet. I don't know. They're written in sequence, but I don't know if they're actually meant to be read in sequence. So I'm pretty sure these hints are not meant to be read in sequence. Cross the water and go into the tree, I believe, refers to... Like, a, it's like a follow-up to that to the fake level 9 bit, how you have to cross the water into the tree that got turned into the staircase. Arrow up the double fall where three rocks meet. I believe that's that secret I got 
where I had to shoot an arrow up a waterfall. So they are separate hints. I don't think they're correlated to each other. They're just hints for other things. The puzzle ends at the statues. I think I have that hint. The seventh enemy guards the ring and will hear the floral tune. Okay, the floral tune. I don't really understand what that means directly, but I know that floral tune, it's a room of flowers. The seventh enemy guards the ring. Offering at the rock flanked by trees. That rock I had the giant bomb, trees on either side. Guess he just had to throw everything he had at it and hope that you would like use a giant bomb. Fire across the water is a hint somewhere. That's hinting at level eight. No, that's referring to the hint where I needed to use the ladder to walk upwards across the water to go to the next screen and then fire the wand upward with the magic book and burn that one tree. I have no idea what that means, seventh enemy. Oddly enough, the seventh enemy spawning on that screen with the red ring is a Stalfos, whatever that means. I thought it was like, in uh, Fun in the Sun 1, you have one of every enemy, and that's how it is. It was like kind of one of every enemy on the first screen of level 9, which we knew. Thought maybe it was like the seventh one there. But that's a Pole's voice. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I do kind of feel a little guilty about this, but I, I honestly have no idea how I would have found, found it naturally. I really have no idea how I would have found that naturally. Decided I'm not gonna go to the, I'm not gonna do the Cave of Ordeals. Um, how do I get to level nine? Oh yeah, top right corner. Um, I'm not doing that, it's just not really worth it. It's worth mentioning that if you do get the items that appear there, it looks like they appear in this area. Um, the last item is the, maybe I'll leave that secret. Um, I actually couldn't find where that is, and I am not going to find it. I'll leave that honor to someone else who does it the legit way. If anyone's upset about me doing anything like that, I won't. If I ever do anything like that in the future, I might just do it after I finish a Let's Play and then look back at it. But let's finish this out. Level 9, this will be interesting. Level 9 in the first one. I don't remember how that went. I remember being hard. Okay. I left 6 because I think I get a little bit of health back if I do. I think I got half a heart back. Alright. Let's take a look. What are we looking at? Okay. My god, how did I not get caught by that? Okay. Shoot. Okay. What the heck is this music? Yeah, kill some of the bats for me. That's nice. Come over here. One of that magic and I ended up losing magic. Come down. How did I not hit the whistle, man? He's such a genius, man. Alright. Wow. Okay. Can I despawn any of these guys? Yeah, I could have guessed it would spawn on the literal furthest edge. So, to be clear, I still have no idea what that gem was that I picked up. It was listed as Din's Fire, but this, I clearly don't have anything. Maybe it gave me something. Okay, um, I mean, I see a locked door and I think maybe it's something. Okay. 
You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> How many pixels? Oh, wait, hang on. What? They're not mirror robes. Wait a minute. Do I need to make them hit that statue? There definitely has to be something going on here, but I don't know what it is. Let's move on. Okay, let's deal with these guys. They really don't want to come anywhere near me. There we go. Nice. Fantastic. Not as opposed to checking stuff. Ah, okay. So we do have something here. What are these whiz robes? Huh. That's bad. Okay, I was going to get hit regardless, I think. Dude. At this point, this should be the item I'm always using at this at this point. Heart ring definitely would be nice, but at what cost? Would the turmoil of just dealing with this be less? Come on. Hmm. Uh, bombs are in this big old bag somewhere. Okay, so that's a passageway. Um, see what it is. Okay, the far right. I mean, his wizard rope told me kill stuff. I mean, that's. Nice. At this point, just leave me beeping. Okay. Okay, that, so that takes me there. Okay. Bombs are right next to, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I misjudged the iframes. Didn't realize that that's what you were. God dang it. Thank you for that. Okay. Yeah, um, you know, I have Din's Fire. In a matter of speaking. Okay, that's a trap that I'm being grinded up by. Apparently, I killed the other wizard robe. Um, I have a ton of arrows. Huh. I should actually go back through the Cave of Ordeals now at least once. Hmm. Because then at least I'd have the upgraded bow. <laughs> I am going through the Cave of Ordeals.